G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me. Now this is an old feeder that I put out when we went away for a few days. Only because I just wanted to make sure the chickens and the ducks had enough food, so I pulled this one out. I don't use it anymore. So it's rained, and the interesting thing about this is that. It rained and the chickens and ducks couldn't get the rest of the grain down the bottom so it sat there fermenting for a few days, just left it. It's now got a, heaps of maggots in it. I don't know if you can see them wriggling. But uh, obviously black fly and other types of maggots are in there. And now that I've taken the lid off, the chickens can get access to it. This is the only one that's seen it so far. But it just, um, it's an interesting thing that I'm investigating at the moment and that's fermenting standard chicken feed just for easier digestion and lactobacilli, um, extra protein if, you, if maybe you get some maggots in it. And you know, fermented food is uh, is good to get that good probiotics into the chickens and ducks. It helps with um, yeast infections and their vents and all sorts of uh, problems that chickens and ducks can get. If you give them some good natural fermented foods, that can help. Uh, while I'm on it, I might as well show you my feeder setups from my DIY feeders. At the moment, um, a lot of these guys, are, I'm just filling up their water containers. I'm shooting this on my phone, but a lot of these guys are out now, free ranging. You can see them out here through the fence. They're just free ranging out there in the bush they just love it of course they just love trying to hunt for little frogs and crickets and worms and uh, they will do that at the expense of knowing that there's a whole heap of food waiting for them back here in the pen but if they do get hungry they know that they can just come straight back into the pen and uh, have a bit of a feed and then go back out free ranging again. Obviously the free ranging area is protected by two fences. There's my dog fence where Scoot is actually poultry friendly but he can't get through that first fence here that I built. I've done video on this. And then there's my boundary fence, which is not as secure. Uh, it's sort of secure, it's sort of like a boundary. It's got chicken wire there and barbed wire. It stops predators coming in from the bush here, you know, like dogs and foxes, but it's this next fence that stops the, the dogs. And it's this chicken fence here that stops the foxes of a night time. So, I'm filling up their feeders, and uh, oh, this is another one that I had out when we went away last week, we went away for five days, so I deployed a couple of extra feeders, which weren't really necessary, because they didn't need them, but I just thought I'd do it just in case. I also made... Um, refilled and cleaned out their pond their internal pond they've also got a dam which is over there 
in the free ranging area, which they can't get to when they're locked in the pen. And uh, this gets dirty very quickly. Within a few days, this gets all dirtied up. So I have about 13 or so, or 14, 16 ducks lining up, jumping up here while they're locked in this pen and they, uh, they, they swim in here and uh, have a play. But essentially, the other, the other bucket I have for my ducks is this one. And uh, that gets messy like this daily. It has to be emptied out. Both of these do every day. And this one here, uh, I just, I might empty out once a week or a fortnight. Sometimes leave it longer than that so I can get my duck juice, which is what I put on my garden. Um, here's one of my DIY feeders. The mess around the bottom is a slight mess, it's not too bad. That's primarily from the ducks because they take a billful and then they, they come out and as they're chewing it falls out of their mouth. But, but as per my video on how to build one of these feeders, it, it is essentially a no spill feeder because if you don't fill it up right to the brim, the chickens when they eat from it can't rake it back and spill it out over the ground. Here's another one that I've got here. I just make them out of old buckets or old containers, use any type of other thing that I've got as a lid. And if they do get a little bit wet in a storm, like I was saying, the, uh, it softens the grains up anyway, and the chickens and ducks love it. They don't mind the, the, the feed getting extra wet or, or fermenting away. They, they love eating it. And up here, because my ducks make such a pig mess in their water, I've got a couple of chicken drinkers set up. Well, I've got three really, three set up drinking stations. It's way probably an overkill for the 15 or so chickens that I have. Sometimes I get up to 25 chickens depending on breeding and all that. Bit of an overkill, but, it, but still I like doing it because it gives them plenty of choice. And you can see these logs and that, is, I'm building a run off my coop. Uh, and I'm still working on that, but that's why those logs and that are everywhere. I'm cementing them in and doing a bit of work. But uh, talking about the drinkers, you can see that I've set them up on these higher stations. That's to stop the ducks. The heavy breed of duck that I've got, they can't get up on the bricks. And the, the drinkers are just out of reach from a duck trying to reach their neck up. So it's perfect. The chickens know. They jump up on the Besser brick and they get a drink. And this is my bin feeder. This is my largest feeder. This is my prototype. And uh, it works like a charm. And you can see how I made the hole too big to start off with and I've had to go backwards but I was just trying to get it right and I didn't want to waste this container so I've I've just duct taped it up and put some plastic here and this gap here stopped they, the chickens can't get in but uh, the mess again on the ground is from the ducks I have sometimes three or four or five ducks sticking their heads in here at a time and pulling their heads out and munching it and it goes over the ground but it's not from the chickens and I have my other feeder over here, which is just a drinker really. I don't use this treadle feeder anymore because uh, it does make too much of a mess. It's, uh, it's redundant. Uh, the chickens, because it's, uh, it's gravity fed, the feed falls down, chickens keep raking, builds up, falls over the edge, goes between that gap and it makes a hell of a mess. Like, I mean, tons of food falls out of it. So that's no good anymore, but I still have some extra drinkers here for the uh, hens that the ducks can't get to. So they've always got clean water to drink instead of having to drink from the dirty duck buckets, which they could in an emergency, but of course it's better if they don't. Here's just a look back from this angle. I've got my quail cage here to the right. 
that's fully enclosed. And there you go. So that's a bit of a walk around and a talk about the drinkers and feeders that I've got going at the moment. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.